It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens.
That way we can keep in touch if anything happens.
Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her, but I failed miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. Wait. Let me go! Easy, easy there! I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. <laughs> My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me! What was that? That's what I was telling you about! It's here! Sherry, wait! 